Welcome back, everybody, of the Dr. Bob Lee. We always have some wonderful guests on our show. And today, uh, we have a New York licensed guidance counselor, a published fashion stylist, an author, and she's with us today to highlight her latest work. It's a book, Love is Key, a blueprint for parenting. And uh, it's almost in its uh, second year. So please welcome to the show, Danielle Branch L. Danielle, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? Thank you for having me. So happy to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Danielle, uh, start off by telling us a little bit about yourself. You've, you've been doing a whole lot in helping others get what they need out of life. How did it all start? So before I even speak about what I do, um, I remember speaking to my sister, um, B. Kane, and she's a strategist. And I was like, look, I'm writing books. I'm helping people. Um, I'm styling and like, she was like, but how are we going to brand you? And she said, you know what, Danny, you're a lifestyler. You're a lifestylist. And I was like, you know what? That fits. So a lifestylist, we know styling is really about the way that you do things. Yeah. And I have, I'm only 39. I say only 39. <laughs> I'm only 39. And um, I've been through some experiences in life. And through my experiences, I, I was able to extract emeralds. And that is how I share. That's how I was able to write my book, Love is Key, A Blueprint for Parenting, because I was a 17-year-old mom. Mm -hmm. um, and I was able to, to extract some jewels from there in the process. Um, I also am a fashion stylist. Did not know that this was going to be a part of my resume. Um, literally, I was in school. I was in education for some years. And I was going to school for counseling. Um, one day, my sister, who's a singer, her name is Jubilee, she was like, Danny, I need you to help me. I need you to style me. I need you to put some things together because, you know, I did, I do like, I like the creative side of things like that. I like expression through clothing. Yeah. And she was like, can you help me? And I was like, no problem. So I styled her for her EP. I also um, designed a piece that um, a, a designer that I know, Georgia Stitch, that she created. And um, after that, people started coming to me because she got on stage and announced that I was her stylist. There I was go. like, um, who told you that? I did not sign <laughs> up for that. <laughs> That's not a part of my makeup. And uh, people started coming to me, um, wanting me to style them. So that was the beginning of Danny B Styles. Yeah. Um, prior to that, um, I've always been a person that loves to encourage people. I've always been a person that um, loves to, I guess, assist people in places where I feel like they're alone. And if I gain information, you have information. I've always yeah. been a giver and a person of service. So um, everything that I'm doing right now kind of just fits who I am and who I'm becoming. So these are the pieces of Danny B. Yeah, Danny B, you're also counseling. Tell us about that, that aspect of your life. So I went to school for counseling. I did not start there. I went to school for education and I realized this is while working in a school. I just want to say I used to work for the Department of Education. I currently don't um, because God moved me in other places as well. I'll speak about that. Um, when I went to school for um, the dual program, which is general ed and special education, I was going for a year at the College of New Rochelle. And I was like, this doesn't fit me. Like, I feel like I need to be more hands on because I naturally have a a desire to get to know why people do certain things and behavior and understanding. And I'm an empath, I'm emp empathetic. So I took a year off and I was like, you know what? I need to, I need to be in counseling. Mind you, I was a paraprofessional at the Department of Education yeah. and literally everything that I did with the kids was from the perspective of a counselor. So I went to school for guidance and counseling um, where I received my um, advanced master's in guidance and counseling. And I said I was not going to retire from the Department of Education because for me, I just personally felt like um, there were more things that I had to touch, more people I had to touch, and I didn't want to feel boxed in. But um, God was the head of my life. <laughs> um, it was a direction where it was like, not even in just a counseling piece, I wouldn't go into an office practice. Counseling mm -hmm. is what I do in everything I do. In styling, I definitely go deep mm -hmm. into the closet. It's more than just an image. Yeah. It's about people actually doing their work. So there's a counseling aspect there. In my book, I've gained strategies that I use skill in as well. And also just coming into contact with people every single day. It's not just a job for me. Counseling is a way of life. And it's also how I was able to 
go through my own healing process because in order to be a counselor, you have to have the heart of someone who's willing to do the work. And that is where my counseling space yeah. is. And, and, in, and in counseling others, it's probably counseling yourself as well, right? Because that's therapy for you also. Absolutely. Absolutely. So God moved you into other realms. So it's a beautiful thing. Um, you also have that work that you're doing, your latest work, your love. Yes. Love is key. Love is key. A blueprint for parenting. A blueprint, a blueprint for parenting. Tell us about it. How did you find out that this is what you wanted to do? How did it all come to? So actually, again, God did not tell me this was on my resume. <laughs> um, one day sitting at work in the classroom with the children, um, I just felt like an urge to write down my thoughts. And I start, I literally took my phone out and just wrote a note to myself, um, mm -hmm. beginning the structure of the book. Did not know it was a book. I just thought it was a note. Sometimes I do that. Um, if something is pressed on me, like I have a thought or an idea, I'll write it in the notes or do a like a video clip. And yeah. I wrote it down, pandemic hit. This is like in 2019, pandemic hit. And as I sat there, I started writing notes again. And then I, I literally heard God say to, to finish it. It was a book. I didn't know what I needed to put in the book. But as I like surrendered to the process of just doing it, I was nervous, didn't know where to start. I sat down and as I began writing the book, I felt like one chapter was completed, then the next chapter came. And then the next chapter came. And then as I was writing the book, I'm the type of person that, my attention, my attention span is really short. If it's not attracting like my learning styles, like I need yeah. to, I need to be able to touch it, see it, smell it. Like, you know, I need to feel like I'm walking it out. So the way that I write, the way that I introduce things, the way that I speak, it's to make sure that I hold engagement and give people like open spaces. So even in the book, there's areas and spaces of reflection because sometimes things can be very weighty, especially when you're doing a heart work and walking yeah. it out. So the book came along, I actually finished writing it. And I was like, well, what am I going to do with this? I know nothing about writing a book. And I heard God's voice tell me to call one of my, my mentors, um, Dr. C is her name, Dr. Cheryl. And she was like, girl, you know, we know somebody that's a, that does a production that does like writing and we, she does uh, all of this. She writes books. And I was like, what? She says, yes, Becky DeWitt, she writes. She was like, she has a whole like publishing company and she can assist you. I was like, are you serious? She was like, yeah, she does it. She said she does it right through Amazon. Yeah, and go. I got in contact with Becky DeWitt. She has a publishing company and she helped me break it down. And I connected with an, um, I had an idea like for the cover of the book because the book is more like a blueprint. And for me, there is no, you hear a lot. There's no, there's no guide to parents and there's no guide, you know, but there's not a guide, but I really believe there's a blueprint because a yeah. blueprint lays foundation. And then because you're an individual in the blueprint, you get to walk it out based on your individual and who you are, but there is a blueprint. So I had an idea to connect blueprints to the cover. And because I also believe in something, like I believe in eye candy, like I'm a stylist, like I believe in eye candy, the book has to yeah. be attractive. So um, I reached out to um, someone else I know her Q designs and she, you know, we connected and she saw my vision and I knew it needed to be blue and white, like a blueprint. And yeah. um, we came up with the idea for the cover. So all in all, I just want to tell people when something is pressed on you, even the smallest thing, don't be fearful of leaping. That's right. Because, and you don't have to have the entire picture. As soon as you take one step, everything else unfolds in steps. Because honestly, as people, if we had all the steps, we would be long gone because we would feel like I'm not ready for this. I can't do it. It's natural to have those fears of the unknown. But well, I didn't even realize I had all the jewels and everyone around me in a space. Everyone was already in position. So I can only just imagine if I didn't take the step, the people that were in position wouldn't even know what to do. God oh. gave you two feet, but one step, one foot in front of the other and step to what you need to do. Absolutely. Now, a quick synopsis of what's in the book for our audience. So because I was a mom at 17 years old, my son, who is now 21, going on 22, um, 
I was able to grab emeralds and stages and steps. Like the first part of the book, it speaks about people think that the book should only be about parenting, but the parent, the book is really for anyone, whether you're becoming a parent or just an individual. Why? Gosh. Because the beginning of the book speaks about self. People are too hard on themselves. And as parents, we think we're supposed to be perfect. We think everything is going to turn out right. So the first thing I do is tell parents, being a perfect parent, never getting anything wrong, it's a lie. Release oh. yourself from that pressure. You have a website where we can find out more? Because they're going to wrap me up. Sorry. So my book is on Amazon. My website is actually in construction right now. And you can find it under Love is Key, a blueprint for parents in by Danielle Branchell. Now pray us out. Thank you, Danielle. No problem. Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity to come together, Father God. And even in this space, Father God, for the people that are called to this space, Father God, we pray that you're able, we're able to be vessels and a light, Father God, so people can see you, feel you, and get the jewels that you presented to us today. Keep them safe in this pandemic. Make sure they're well, their minds are well, Father God, and just let them feel the love that's impressed from you to them, Father God, because love is always the key. It shuts down darkness. And I ask these things in your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Danielle Branch L, author, Love is Key, a blueprint for parenting. We appreciate you and thank you. And we love you. And you're always welcome to come back. Your family. Thank you. I appreciate it, Bob. All right. That about does it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Danielle Branch L, author, Love is Key. It's a blueprint for parenting. We appreciate you. And we love you. And you're always welcome back. That about does it for us right here. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking it all out. Thank you for letting us share in this space and time with you. And always remember this, what you are is God's gift to you and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice and let your choice control the chooser. For all of us here at Bronx, I'd have a great and enjoyable day. And I'll see you over 107.5 WVLS. Love you all.